Hello friends that live within the internet. My name is John and in this video we will be continuing our series on the jam stack. Now this is episode 6 in the series. So far we've created a basic skeleton site using a Next.js and Contentful. We've integrated it. Now so far our website looks like a bag of spanners. It looks pretty terrible. So what we're going to do in this video is look at how we can add metadata onto our pages and more importantly we're going to be looking at how we can add styling, so how we can add CSS on a global level and how we can add CSS on a component level. Sound good? Perfect. Now all the code that I'm going to go through in this video can be downloaded from my github, it's johndjones.com so head over there, linked below. If you haven't come across my videos before, I do weekly YouTube videos on web development productivity so if you want to be an absolute legend, please hit that subscribe button because I'd very much appreciate it. It's free, it's not going to cost you anything. So assuming you've done that, let's get on it. The first challenge we're going to tackle is add some metadata onto our pages and we'll be doing this using the head API which comes out of the box with Next.js. The good news is it's super simple and we'll be able to wrap this up within a few minutes. This is one of the reasons why I really like using Next because you get all of this cool out of the box functionality, super simple to use, so it just means that when you're building your websites you can do some rapid development which I quite like. Now to get starting what we're going to do is kick off with an import so we're going to import head and that's going to be from next and it's going to be from head just like that beautiful now within our return we can call in this component and it's just head and then make sure we've got the closing tag and then in here we can just basically add any metadata that we would on any normal page so let's say we'd have a title we're going to call this sample site that'd be nice enough now to spare you the pain of watching me type and make loads of spelling mistakes, I'm just going to paste in some of our standard and classic metadata. So stuff like our UTF and then our viewports. So let's just do a description as well, just to prove it's all working. And then John Page. Makes perfect sense. Now, if we open up our console, do an npm run, to launch our site. Remember, we set all those scripts up in the first episode. When we start opening Chrome and we do a refresh, as you can see, we've got an unexpected token. Some absolute Wally hasn't closed that off. He was that. Now, let's go back to our page, do a refresh. Now, as you can see, our page still looks pretty nasty. If I do an inspect though, have a look within the head and as you can see hopefully we've got our title sample site we've got all the metadata we've got our description and it really is that simple to add your metadata onto a page so you just import that head component and then just whack all your properties in it super simple now let's look at how we can start styling stuff and making things look a little bit nicer our next task is to stop making our web application look so shitty and instead we want to make it look a little bit more now we'll be doing that by copying in some CSS and HTML. Now this is a video on Jamstack and configuring Next.js and Contentful and then pulling in some you know, best of breed technologies. So I'm not gonna focus too much on the actual CSS and HTML. For those of you who are interested, you can see all the HTML that I'm about to pop in in the screen in front of us. Now you can get all this HTML and CSS from my GitHub directly before it's been integrated within to Next.js. So as you can see here, it's John D. Jones dash POC slash sticky dash nav. In here, you can see that we've got a style CSS, we've got some HTML, and all I've done is copied all of this HTML into our application, and I've copied this styles.css into the code base. So next thing we're gonna do, start integrating that into our Next.js application. The next part that we will cover is how to apply our style sheets on a global level across all of our pages. Now obviously, being the good little software engineers that we all are, we always want to follow the rule of dry. Do not repeat yourself. So basically, we don't want to copy and paste a reference to our style sheet across all of our pages. This would be completely naff. It will be hard to maintain. It will be an area of bugs. And it will also mean that we're not very efficient. 
So the way that pretty much every single website and CMS website solves this is by creating some sort of a centralized global layout. And as you would expect, because Next.js is so super cool, Next.js comes up with a way for us to manage our global layouts. And it's by this thing called the app.js. So within our pages folder, we will create a new file and it will be called underscore app.js. Now, as you can see here, we've got my global style sheet. It was just simply copied and pasted into my application from that GitHub repo. And to import it into our site, all we need to do is just do an import. So we just want to do a styles.css. Perfect. Now, because app.js is the module which sits on top of all the other pages and it's a, a Next.js thing, we need to simply follow and add in a component and follow in the props and all that sort of stuff that Next.js recommends. So what we'll be doing is an export default function application. And this has two props. One is called component and one which is called page props. And what we'll simply do is return our component. Then we'll pass or we'll spread our props into it. Beautiful. And then we'll pass it on. So we've got our style sheet, which has got a typo in it, style CSS. Now, if we just do our npm run dev, hopefully our website will load. Now, one thing is when you're creating this app.js, you will always have to close down your build and recompile it the hot reloading doesn't work here now if we go to our page hopefully we can refresh and when we go to our website it is looking a little bit more nicer so now we've got a bit of a hero we've got the content now if you can remember last episode we also created our nav components so let's go back into here close this down now to import a component all we need to do is just do import nav and it's going to be from components there we go as there was components nav now obviously because we're using react and react turns everything into a javascript we can't return a single element so we always have to wrap everything so what we're doing is creating a react fragment then we'll be passing in our nav components we'll then close this off using another react fragment and there's a little typo there and then let's run our build process again so just npm run dev in case you can't see it go back to our web page do a refresh and beautiful as you can see we have this amazing sticky nav at the top now and remember from last time, we've got the routing. So when we click on this, you can see that we're going to the about page. This still needs a little bit of work. However, when we're going across all of our different pages, we've now got that centralized layout, which is shared between all of our pages. We don't have to duplicate or repeat any code, which is very nice. Now, the next thing is let's look at some of these components and figure out how we can configure things rather on a global level, but on a per component level. As you would expect from Next.js, adding component level CSS is also super simple. So that's great news. Now, out of the box, Next.js comes with CSS module support. Now, because we are using React, you are free to use an alternative, something like stylized components or whatever you really like. However, because Next.js supports this, we may as well use it. Now, when we're using CSS modules, the format we have to use is create a separate style sheet and it will be component.module, no S, that's important, .css. So let's do that now. So going back to our about page, what we'll do is open up our sidebar and within our about folder, we're going to do about, we're going to do a module, and we're going to do a CSS. Now in here, you're free to write in any CSS that your tiny little heart desires. So to make sure we're doing something which is obvious, just have a background red and let's just display as a block because displaying things as blocks is a classic now going back to our component all we need to do is import styles and then we just do from dot slash that's important otherwise it might not import and then we want to do a module dot css cool so that's access to our styles 
let's write a little bit of HTML. So div, and then remember, because we're using React, React converts everything into JavaScript functions, and in JavaScript, class is a reserved keyword. We have to use class name here rather than class. And then we can just do our styles.title, and that accesses the style sheet for us, which is quite nice. I like this prop style syntax. And then here, let's just do hello world. Woo. And I spot that wrong. Let's just typo it. Hello world. Perfect. Now, if we open up our terminal, let's just do an npm run dev. We should now be able to go back to our website. Do a refresh gets to our home page when we click about us now as you can see we have our beautiful style being pulled in and this is just applied on a component level so as you can see adding styles within next.js is super simple i hope you're impressed because i definitely am and that concludes the end of another video we are one step closer to jam stack mastery now, as I'm hoping this series is showing you, using Next.js to power your website is a great choice. It comes with loads of super cool features out of the box. Things like dynamic routing. We have the web head API. We have CSS module support. We have static site generation through the hybrid mode. So loads and loads of cool things. Now, if you're a C Sharp guy and you're thinking about React, this is the way that I recommend you get started learning it. You won't have to worry about doing things like React Router or all the hard complicated things that building a React site from scratch entails. Using Next.js allows you to buy cut all of that sort of stuff and get started straight away. Now, what do you think about the series? So far, I know we've been doing a lot of focus on the website. I'm a CMS guy, so moving forward, we're going to be focusing on the headless CMS a little bit more, so contentful. We're going to be looking at the things that you can do. We're also going to be looking at best of breed technologies. So we're going to be looking at Algolia and how you can create a super powerful search with just a few lines of code and all for free. It's going to be amazing. Now, if you haven't already because you're some sort of numpty, hit that subscribe button. I've already told you once in this video, I'm not telling you again, be a legend. It's very easy to leave content when you're watching YouTube. So hitting subscribe will just mean that you'll get some free content. You're going to learn some stuff. So why not? Also, I do a weekly newsletter, which has loads of stuff about Jamstack and updates on this video and this channel. If you want to subscribe, there's a link below. It doesn't cost you anything. There's no sales ads. So go through there. I'd appreciate it. Also, if you want to help me tricking YouTube into sharing my videos to more people, hit that like button. Hitting like basically keeps me motivated doing these videos. And again, any feedback you have, please leave below. Anyway, I hope you have found a lot of value and you've learned something from this video because obviously that's the point of them. I hope you have an amazing day and happy coding.